Hey everyone, so we're still at the NVIDIA event and I'm back with this system by BS Mods and Blue Horse Studios. And we're looking at two SLI GTX 1080s right now. We talked about it last night in our launch video where they released the cards. So the GTX 1080s here, we hit all the main specs, coming out pretty soon, priced at $600 for the main model and then 700 for the special edition, which is an OC edition. The 1080s are clocked stock from what we saw on the screens here at 1607 megahertz and then uh, the units last night were overclocked to 2.2 gigahertz or 2214 megahertz. The memory on this is G5X or GDDR5X by Micron and that is eight gigabytes of memory on the cards, not HBM2 quite yet. In terms of other specs that you haven't seen from our video last night, it's got 2560 CUDA cores and that's of course pretty different from GP100. Previous video, if you want to learn about that, that one's 3500 plus CUDA cores. The memory bandwidth is 320.23 gigabytes per second. And then, uh, of course, it overclocks pretty high as well. So let's talk about the mod here, since we've covered all the basics with the cards. And the mod, as you see, is rotating. This is an in-win case. We saw this at CES. I want to get my finger out of there so it's not chopped off. The case was, or the system was built by BS Mods. Bob Stewart, Rod Rosenberg did that. They did the base coat paint. And then Ron Lee Christensen did the dragon here, which is named Tessie the Dragon from Blue Horse Studios. And uh, as you can see, it's got a tessellation pattern, then turns into a more realistic dragon. So that's the basics of the mod. There's a nameplate on the back, just like the one at CES that was at the Inwin booth that we saw. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much the whole thing for the case. Case itself, not with the pants or anything, I think is more than two grand if you wanted to pre-order one. It was on New Egg for pre-order, but might be sold out by now. So that's pretty much everything I have for you for the 1080s. Again, previous video for additional information, uh, the new information from the, the last one that wasn't in there, 2560 CUDA cores, 320 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth, and then an effective 10 gigahertz memory clock on the G5X memory or GDDR5X from Micron. Uh, so thanks for watching. Patreon link, post all video as always. I'll see you all next time.